I guess the main purpose of the MSA is to create uh, a network of students where we can foster spiritual growth. Um, it's also great to have like people that you know to tell you like, okay, here's the masjid, here's where we can pray. It's definitely different from living anywhere else. Um, I've lived in Sudan and I've also lived in Tennessee. It's the only two places I've ever lived and both are very religious regions. So you can sort of relate to other Christians and other religious, I guess, majorities here in Tennessee by how pious everyone is and by how there's an abundance of churches and abundance of religious like centers that you can all go to. But it's also different in the sense of, given the recent political atmosphere, there's a lot of anger towards Muslims, a lot of pent up anger, and it can get dangerous at times. So it can feel dangerous for a lot of people, but some people can feel very welcoming. So being a Muslim on Rocky Top, um, I find that a lot of classmates that I have, they have questions and they're afraid to ask. Um, so they'll spend the whole semester kind of like, whenever a topic comes up that might be something they want to ask about in regards to Islam or Muslims or Arabs or anything like that. Um, they, they won't come and ask it and they'll just kind of have these questions floating around in their minds. Um, and so as a Muslim who goes to UT, who practices Islam, who has studied Islam, I would, you know, highly recommend to you and I would tell you that um, if you come and ask me a question and ask me respectfully and just talk to me, I'm going to answer you and I'm happy to answer any questions and I could probably speak for most Muslims, if not all Muslims on campus, that if you just ask us, we'll do our best to answer you. Um, and I'd much rather have somebody ask me something and me try to give them an answer than somebody have a question running through their mind or a misconception running through their mind that they're just afraid to ask me about. Um, I'm not going to hurt you. Um, I'm not going <laughs> to, I don't bite, you know, just come up and talk to us. We're students here just trying to get through college, trying to make money, trying to afford rent, trying to, you know, study for our classes. We're just like everyone else. So um, just go for it, I guess. <laughs> um, being a Muslim on Rocky Top is a great thing because we have a really great community here. All the Muslims come together as one. Whenever someone needs something or needs help or any event, we all come together as one and they'll always have your back. And the people here are very welcoming. So it's great being a Muslim on Rocky Top. So living in the Bible Belt, um, it means answering a lot of questions. Um, and because there aren't many Muslims here, it oftentimes means that we're misunderstood or, you know, people don't really know much about us. And so people generally have two ways of approaching that lack of knowledge. And one is they either just say things that come to mind, like, uh, 9-11 must be your favorite holiday, or Osama bin Laden is, must be your leader. Like, were you sad that he died? That kind of thing. Those are things that have happened to me. Um, or people just straight up ask questions. Um, and I've found that the best way to respond to those and to, um, to uh, react to that kind of thing is just to, to answer them honestly. And even if somebody said something that might be offensive, one time when I was in high school, we were, uh, we were riding in a bus and the bus went over a bump and the, the high school kids were like, oh my God, Abdallah, was that a bomb that you just let off? And um, you kind of just have to let them know that that's not right, that that's not cool. And also just work your way to answering a question and actually sharing some knowledge, something beneficial, something practical they can go look back on. Because um, Muslims are misrepresented in the media in general quite often. And so that leads to all these like misinterpretations, misconceptions. And um, I found that the best thing to do is just to to be straightforward, to be patient with people, to be respectful of people. And even, like no matter how terrible a person is being, if they're being uh, aggressive and um, coming at you really strongly, if you answer in a peaceful way and just keep calm and talk to them as if they're like, talk to them like they're an intelligent person who's capable of understanding you, then they will be receptive to that. 
Um, and that's what I've been trying to practice my whole life. Um, I've recognized sometimes you get frustrated with people. And I realize that if you try to fight people, that's only, especially people who might think Muslims are violent, then you're only reinforcing that idea in their heads. So the best way is just to answer peacefully, patiently, respectfully, um, and just trying to spread knowledge.